Hi, hello guys. In my previous videos, I showed you how we need to set up a course of JS, very basic setup. But now in here, I'm going to extend that setup process in the course of JS using page object model, which we, which we usually say it as a POM and BDD framework. BDD is actually like a behavior driven framework. And why I tell you why I choose these two topics in, in the setup process is because nowadays I can see the most of the organizations are using are intended to use for page object model and behavior driven framework because we have a lot of advantages for that. Let me give a brief about that. Uh, like a page object model generally we we actually store all the page elements in the pages in the different page classes. So if we write in that way, we have the advantages of not going everywhere in the test class to change any particular element or a locator if something is changed. If we are following the page object model, we have all the page elements uh, set up in the entire one single page class. So for example, on a login page, if there is some changes, so I can go and do uh, the changes on the login page itself and we are going to use those functions in different test classes. So here we can see the only change we need to do is only the page class, not the entire different test classes where we have used the login. Okay. This is actually the POM and BDD. And these days why we are more intended towards BDD is because we are going to do a feature level testing in very detailed feature level testing. Rather than the normal models, here in a BDD, we have this feature divided into the uh, step definition file. So here we are going to write the feature file where we are going to uh, a test or execute the different scenarios on that particular feature. For example, let us consider like login feature. So in this login feature, we are going to have a different scenarios like we need to check whether the particular login name uh, is uh, the email validations or password validations and uh, checking for some UI element. So whatever you want to do around the login feature. So what we do, uh, so those all possible scenarios we are going to do it entirely in the login feature itself. So for example, if you want to do the regressions or whatever we want, we have this particular report related to the feature salon. So this is the kind of the basic advantages we can see here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the POM and along with the BDD framework. Okay, guys, uh, let us proceed with that. So here, uh, this is uh, the last setup which I have done in the uh, previous two videos and here I'll show you. So this is the basic, uh, the official site for the course of JS. So here if we go, we can search for page object. So here, uh, this is the topic where they have given the detailed steps how we are going to uh, generate the page object page files so there is a command so we can directly use that or otherwise we can do manually but I, I prefer going with the commands what they have told okay and here this is the command to generate page object so here I am going to give this command uh, so here if even if you go through these lines you can understand it is so very straightforward I am not going in very detail because it is very straightforward and you can understand very easily and I am going to just show you with the commands what we are going to use. So here in this and I just want to give a highlight here. I am using the IDE Visual Studio code. And I just give right click and you can give uh, this open and integrated terminal. So here I am just copying that command to generate the page object. So here it is asking for that page object file, name of the page, ob page object file. So I'm going to give as a login that actually with this npx uh, gpo command we are going to create uh, the page object file under the pages how it has been asked us to create and it will be creating a pages folder and under that it is going to save our uh, page object file here. So now after doing that if it, it is saying that we need to update our config file. So what is the benefit we are going to get it if we update the uh, config file here. So if you are adding, so generally in the test classes what we do in the automation is like whenever we are going to write a test class we need to actually include the functions that we have written as per the page specific. So for example in the login page I am going to give a function like type email. So email uh, typing an email is a function which I have written on the login page. So I need to call that particular function from the login page. So what I do, I need to first import that login page in the test class where I am going to use that uh, function from the login page. So here this importing, importing whatever we are, I am telling like we need to import the page classes. So this importing part has been taken care with this uh, include section in codes.js. 
so what it does so we need we no need to give the path everywhere in the test class where we are going to use that or consume the functions from that particular page class so we just we just need to add this a uh, name for that login page and then you need to tell from where it needs to pick up that page so uh, basically the path we need to give that and it, it will be considering from the root folder as we are keeping this configuration.js file in the root folder okay so and it is telling us to do it update your config file include section so already if we go to the config file here we have the include section and i'm going to just copy this line and paste it here so that's it so this is the process of creating the page object file automatically with this particular command how they have suggested in their official site now if you want to create it manually so the same you need to go you need to as we are following the page object model it is a process we need to have the pages folder to have all the pages collectively in that folder so you need to create the pages folder manually and you need to give the right click and new file and create the login page dot js so now this one you need to go to the configuration file and go to the include section here and just you need to type it whatever the name you want to give and whatever the then this name you are going to use it in all your test classes to call this particular page so i am just giving the path of that page here so whenever i say the login page it will understand okay the login manual page and it, it will just fetch from this path okay so this is the automatic way and this is the manual way you can do it but i prefer going for the automatic so i am just doing it with this particular command so this is the process of generating the page files with this particular command in the code of js so now coming to the bdd how we are going to the bdd let me give a few context like what is bdd so bdd actually uses gherkin language the gherkin language mainly consists of the three words like given when and then so these words are the main keywords which we use in the gherkin language and here we have the separation of the files and the basic terminology of bdd is the features step definitions gherkin language so what is features and what is step definition so for example the feature for uh, if, if i am taking talking about the login feature so it will have the different scenarios so we write in a feature file what are the different scenarios and those scenarios will be linked to the step definitions and the step definitions will have the functions from the page page files and those validations whatever we write in the step definitions i mean the basically the code will lies in the step definition files feature file will have the lines like what given given what is given like given the we landed on the home page given uh, and then and when so these kind of uh, simple simple sentences we can write in the feature files which is very much readable for everyone who doesn't even have the technical knowledge they can easily read all those feature files so for example if you want to share your automation statistics or automation uh, level of progress to any product team or some some people who don't have much into the technicality of the technical perspective they can easily understand what we have written the particular scenarios what we are going to cover in this automation in this particular feature so this is one of the again the main advantage of the bdd why all companies are preferring going to the bdd because it is understandable to everyone who no no need to no need to have the technical knowledge so okay and uh, maybe in the coming videos i can tell you in still more give information of bdd and uh, the uh, different type of models what we are going to have in the automation okay and in this video i'm just covering this pom and bdd okay now let me tell you how we can do the bdd framework so you can search whatever you want you can search it here and it will show you all the information here they have given very straightforward points like what is bdd and what is the example feature file how it will looks and everything so here is the command which we need to use to generate the feature and step definitions file automatically so i'm just going to use this command and here so here what it says it says like uh, they have created a sample feature file under this path and they have uh, created a sample steps file under this path uh, 
This is the command way which we need to use to generate uh, those features and step definitions automatically. So what it does is like after just giving this command, it will go, it will create this features folder and it will and uh, the basic sample feature file and the step definitions folder, the basic steps file. And along with that, it will just update the configuration file also here with this gherkin section. So here what it does is like um, the features. So whatever the it, as it has used this asterisk, so it is going to include all the dot feature files under this feature folder. And here if you see the steps file and it is going to and it is not using the asterisk file, which means they are con going to consider only this one single file. So this is all the basic setup which we need to do for the code set JS to start with the functional testing. So in the coming videos, I'm going to give more information on how to write the feature files and how to and how this actually the flow works in the functional testing. So stay tuned guys. Until then, bye.